I was never blessed with an abundance of friends. The few friends I did have were truly wonderful, and I was content. Aiden was like me, quiet, shy, intelligent, and introverted. We became best friends as children, and have remained as close as brothers our entire lives. As all young boys do, we grew up. We graduated college, got jobs, and Aiden even got married. He has a young son, Jared, who refers to me as Uncle Eric. It's the cutest thing when he comes up to me to show me something new and fascinating that he's discovered, like the wonder of a firefly or the beauty of a colorful flower. Children teach us to reevaluate things that we've learned to take for granted. Aiden has been having a tough time lately. He and his wife separated, and he's been having financial difficulties for some time, between paying for full-time childcare, his rent, and all his other bills. I've been helping him as much as I can, but it never seems to be enough. Luckily, after thinking things over for a while, we came up with some ideas that may help the situation. We were discussing one of those ideas when it happened. He turned to me with a wild look in his eye, and he attacked me with a savagery I didn't know he was capable of showing. He waited until there was no one around to help me before he made his move, like he'd been planning it. He was apparently under more stress than I'd realized. I fought him off, but he was relentless. He simply would not give up. I had to do what I did. I had to kill him. After it happened, I looked on in shock at his body now, laying lifelessly before me. Oh well, I remember thinking, shaking myself out of my shock stupor. I guess he changed his mind. I shouldered my rifle and headed into the daycare.